Okay, people, the video is finally here. Assalamu alaikum. A few of you have been asking about the books in the back and those books that I would recommend. Uh, okay, quite a few of you. There is no book on earth that is more important than the Quran and the hadith of the Prophet. I'll be avoiding Islamic books just to avoid the whole sectarian arguments oh this book is of this group and that scholar is affiliated none of that I want to start off with a very important book yeah and it's this book it's the autobiography of Malcolm X yeah so when underground rappers and people who were you know who I thought were cool said that they read this book cover to cover and it changed their lives you know, I was really impressed, yeah, so i done the exact same thing. In fact, it's after reading the autobiography of Malcolm X that I started investing in books and I started reading. And now, of course, when the talk of history came and with all, those, all these terrorist attacks and people started saying, oh, Muslims this and Muslims that, I was like, what have our people actually done? Yeah, like I, I hear it from an Islamic point of view, point of view, point of view, uh, Islamic point of view, but what have we actually done in terms of our modern world? And this book, 1001 Inventions of Muslim Heritage in Our World, goes through the Muslim contributions in absolutely every single field you could possibly imagine. I'm going to stick with uh, biographies for now, um, autobiography of Mahatma Gandhi, uh, I haven't read this yet, Muhammad Ali, Soul of a Butterfly. Yeah, he wrote this with his daughter, Hannah Yasmin Ali. Um, I wanted to read a book by Muhammad Ali. Another student had given me this, yeah, a tribute to the greatest. But this one, I wanted to get a book written by Muhammad Ali himself. Soul of a Butterfly, I would highly recommend this book. Freedom in Exile, the Dalai Lama, the fact that he went to all these countries and people treat him with such respect. I wanted to know what he's all about. I've read a bit, I'm yet to read this. With the death of Fidel Castro, uh, when you go to Latin America and you see any time there's a symbol of revolution, it's this guy's face, Che Guevara. Again, this book is massive. I haven't read it, but he is also someone that interests me. The second topic, inspiration. Just like any other person, I get weak, I go through weaknesses, um, there's some times where I start questioning what's going on, I feel weak, I can't approach people. So I found in those times um, the best advice you can get is from yourself and from books and of course scholars I'd recommend it but some people obviously they don't have that reputation uh, or that connection with scholars. So this book, I highly recommend this, Les Brown, Live Your Dreams. This guy is an absolute inspiration. Anyone who's going through some problems or whatever, depression or, or whatever, when I was in a dark place, this book, Change Your Life in Seven Days, helped me the most. Yeah, I'd highly recommend this book. It's probably uh, one of the best books I've ever read. Yeah, Change Your Life in Seven Days by Paul McKenna. Now, after I read this, I developed a great deal of respect for this guy. So I got his other books, I Can Make You Smarter, uh, Instant Influence and Charisma, Three Things That Will Change Your Destiny, highly recommend this book, I'm still reading this at this moment in time. There's two inspirational speakers whose books I definitely want to get, Gary V and Eric Thomas. Got a lot of respect for Eric Thomas, very inspirational guy. Of course, being on YouTube, constantly uh, being under pressure to push out content in the most creative way possible, setting new trends. The Art of Creative Thinking by Rod Judkins. I took a shot in the dark with this book and by Allah I did not regret it. This has to be definitely one of the best books I've read. In the books Defending Islam. I haven't read this, The Devil's Delusion. Subur gave me this book from Ayera, Devil's Delusion. The Science Delusion. Rupert Sheldrake, I've recommended this in a previous video. Uh, 
very good book. A bit advanced though, even The Devil's Delusion. These two books are a bit advanced. I'm sure you guys always hear this. Religion is responsible for violence. Religion and violence. Why blah blah blah. So I had to get this book of Karen Armstrong called Fields of Blood when I saw her small excerpt on Al Jazeera and she made some interesting points like a few people who have gone to join ISIS one of them a couple of weeks before ordered a book called Islam for Dummies another one ordered Quran for Dummies how a lot of these people are not practicing so she kind of shed a whole new light on the issue and I thank her for that the way science is pushed forward by militant atheists uh, this book really grabbed my attention. The things that nobody knows. 501 Mysteries of Life, the Universe and Everything by William Hartson. God's Undertaker, Professor John Lennox. John Lennox is a Christian professor of maths in Oxford University. So his take on atheism um, was very interesting. His book, highly recommend it. One of the best books I've read. And of course, Hamza Sotsis' book, um, The Divine Reality, also excellent book. Okay, starting politics now. Politics, Dirty Wars, yeah. I've read a few chapters in this book, found it very interesting. Dirty Wars by Jeremy Scahill. Norman Finkelstein, yeah, who is a Jew whose parents have died in the Holocaust, but yet he defends the Palestinians and he's hated by the Jews, but he is a very well-educated uh, professor. Um, I had to get his book because, I mean, I wouldn't say I'm very well-versed in the Israel-Palestine conflict. I've tried reading this many times. I found it very difficult to read, but I still have it. Inshallah, as my vocabulary is increasing, I'll get to read this properly. This book yeah, was one of the few that I had read cover to cover. Yeah, amazing book, The Confessions of an Economic Hitman by John Perkins. Amazing book, highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. John Pilger, a very honest speaking journalist. He's covered the Iraq war. He's covered a lot of the atrocities that the US has done. And this book was particularly impressive, The New Rulers of the World. Yeah, and he goes into the Iraq conflict uh, and obviously the the devastation it's wreaked in a lot of detail. Of course, you can't be a honest uh, person looking into politics and journalism without looking at Noam Chomsky's books. Now again, the very academic, I've got Making the Future here, Deterring Democracy, and of course, Perilous Power. I haven't read these, I've kind of dotted in and out, because again, he's very academic, you need you need good vocab to follow that guy. Now this book, Secret and Lies by David Southwell. Yeah, it's actually like a £10 book, but yeah, it's actually a £17 book. Crazy. But Christmas time, I was shopping with my mum and one of the shops had a sale and this was going for like £2.50. Everything in this book uh, is not conspiracy based and there's some really wacky stuff in here. You guys might remember my response to Tommy Robinson in Manchester. So uh, I use this book called Logically Fallacious, the ultimate collection of over 300 logical fallacies. Russell Brand, who is a Hollywood actor, comedian turned spiritual guy and very outspoken um, against atrocities and anti-establishment. So his book Revolution was very important to me. He uses swear words and sexual innuendo so um, just be cautious if you are to get this book. Anytime terrorism is mentioned people link suicide terrorism um, to Islam but Anytime one of these academics quotes someone, it's always P Professor Robert Pape and they say that he's looked over all the terrorist attacks in the last decade and most of them have been done by secularists and not Muslims. Yeah, And the book that everybody quotes is Dying to Win. Highly recommend this book. Took a while to come but Alhamdulillah. It's good to have a kind of surface knowledge on all different subjects because obviously you don't know who you're going to meet. 50 ideas that you really need to know. Psychology by 
Adrian Fernham. Best loved poems. Yeah, there was a time I was really into poetry. Um, best loved poems edited by Neil Phillip, illustrated by Isabel Brent. Again, some of the poems in here are quite lame. Everything you need to know about everything you need to know about. Yeah, by Daniel Tatarsky. Yeah, I read this book cover to cover. Very good book. There's a sale going on and I had to have an encyclopedia. Secrets to Mental Maths. Yeah, this book is filled with techniques to help you solve mathematical uh, well problems very quickly yeah I found actually saw this guy on YouTube yeah Arthur Benjamin and some of the techniques he gave was amazing and then I had to get his book Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the teacher and his methodologies by Zamzam publishers again very good book this book Ajmal al Qawaid. This is a qaida to help you learn the Quran, well, Quranic Arabic. I've actually helped design it, I've proofread it, and I've helped it come into um, publication. So I would highly recommend. In fact, this is hands down the best qaida on the market. And I'm not just saying it because I'm involved with it, I'm saying it because we've seen literally all the qaidas that we were able to see. And this is amazing, yeah. In fact, I'm going to put a link to this in the description, guys. You have to buy this. I couldn't end this video without bigging up Torath Publishings. I mean, the guy, mashallah, has been very generous. He's given me all these books. Mashallah, you know, amazing. His books, mashallah, are very academic. He's got... <laughs> He's got... Uh, obviously fiqh books, um, the destitute, where he talks about the Egyptian history and stuff. He's got um, underlying principles of the sciences of hadith, the influence of the noble hadith on the difference of opinion among the juristic imams, Sheikh Muhammad Awama. You've got lessons in Islamic history. Uh, you've got the beginnings of the quest of the Prophet ﷺ. He's got these small little books uh, with 40 hadith in it. He's got the virtue of Sham, virtue of the noble family of the Prophet ﷺ. Amazing book, Istikhara. A lot of people don't know about Istikhara. Uh, Humas, travel guide to Palestine. Ihya Ulum al Imam Ghazali's um, Etiquettes of the Lana. Uh, the scribes of the Prophet. <laughs> Uh, easy, easy good deeds by Mufti Taki Uthmani, and this is just uh, was in the wrong pile. How to think like Sherlock, you know, with that series on the BBC and the films. Um, I was quite impressed by that guy, and when I saw this, I had to get this. How to think like Sherlock. Now, some of you that are gonna start saying, "Oh, brother, why are you reading from this person? Why don't you read from this person?" Hey, I'm open-minded. I take the good, I leave the bad. There is no author or publisher on this planet that is flawless, that hasn't made any mistakes. Uh, the Prophet ﷺ said, Wisdom is the stray camel of the believer. Wherever he finds it, he has more right to it. It's narrated in Tirmidhi and Ibn Majah. Yeah? So those of you that uh, are thinking, Oh no, I have to only read Islamic books. Of course. Yeah, read Islamic books, but there's nothing wrong with reading other books as well. Yeah, in fact, it's recommended because when you're giving da'wah, you know, you come to common terms with the person you're speaking to. Yeah, until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.